right. It looks like we have a quorum. All right. Um, in that case, let me head over to the agenda here. Um, welcome, everyone, to um, the City of Albany Arts Committee meeting for Monday, March 14th. Um, we This is uh, the call to order. So we're are going to kick things off um, with the roll call followed by the land acknowledgement, or is it land acknowledgement followed by roll call, Keenan? Uh, I believe it is, well, we could do either way, but I, I would say um, call to order would be uh, better for the land acknowledgement. Okay, great. So this meeting is now called to order and um, Keenan, if you wouldn't mind taking roll. Sure. Chair Gatch. Here. Member Bowers. Here. Member Bergman. Here. Member Goodman. Absent. Member Samatsky. Absent. Member Raxel. I believe she's here. I think you have to press star nine. Um, Keenan, I'm sorry to interrupt, but um, I did just receive a message from a community member saying that they're unable to join via Zoom. And you know, star Zoom, star six doesn't seem to work. Oh, we can hear you now. Good. So there's a problem with um, someone from the public not getting in? Yeah, so I received a message from someone from the public not being able to get in, and I'm wondering if um, some of the other members might be running into the same issue. OK. Um, I think we should uh, go ahead and uh, move along, and um, we'll see if we can uh, change up something on uh, along the way. OK. Um, then I'm going to begin by reading uh, the land acknowledgment for the city of Albany. The city of Albany recognizes that we occupy the land originally protected by the confederated villages of Lise John. We acknowledge the genocide that took place on these lands and must make strides to repay the moral debt that is owed to the, this indigenous people, specifically the Ohlone tribe. We thank them for their contributions which have transformed our community and will continue to bring forth growth and unity. The city of Albany commits to sustaining ongoing relationships with the tribe and together build a better future for all that now make this their home. Um, the second item on tonight's agenda is the approval of minutes. Um, so I think we need a motion to approve the minutes. Would a committee member like to make a motion to approve the minutes? Uh, member Bergman, you are muted. Um, yes, I move to approve the minutes. Do we, do we have a second? I second. Um, great. And then, um, Keenan, would you take the vote? Yeah. Uh, Chair Gatch? Yes. Member Bowers? Yes. Member Bergman? Yes. And Member Raxel? Yes. All right. All right. The minutes are approved. Um, item three on the agenda for tonight is public comment. And as a uh, reminder to the public, this is uh, for anyone who desires to address the advisory body on an item that is not on the agenda. Um, please note that each speaker is limited up to three minutes, and the Brown Act limits the committee's ability to take and or discuss items that are not on the agenda. Therefore, such items are normally referred um, to staff for comment or to a future agenda. Uh, Keenan, um, do we have any public comment at this time? Uh, yes, we have one public comment. Uh, 
Hey there, thanks for that opportunity. Um, it's more of a question and, and about process. Um, my name is Effie and I am um, part of the Giltrack Farm Coalition and we submitted an application to your um, arts request for proposal or request to artists. And I got, I heard from um, Nicholas Medeiros yesterday who sometimes stops by the farm um, that our application needed some work, but I had reached out to Keenan and asked um, if there was anything we could do to improve. So yeah, I'm, I'm just, I'm getting mixed messages and I'm not sure who to look to for advice and would love to understand more if anyone can provide that. Uh, great, thank you, Effie. Um, we do have uh, later on, um, one of the reports that we'll have will be an update uh, from the subcommittee on the Albany Creative Justice um, Art Project. And there uh, will be an opportunity to um, for the public to comment and ask questions. And I think if I understand it right, um, that would be the correct place to respond. Is that, or, or can I respond now, Kimi? Oh, you should be able to respond now. Okay. Um, so, um, Effie, just to kind of quickly um, answer your question, um, if there are specific questions about the proposal, I think um, those can be posed to Keenan, and Keenan can pass those on to the subcommittee. Um, maybe Keenan can correct me if I'm mistaken, if there's a way that um, – that you can directly contact members of the subcommittee. I'm one of those members of the subcommittee. So is um, Sarah Samonsky. Uh, in terms of mixed um, messages, uh, there was an extension of the deadline period um, for the for the project, so that people could people who had already applied could amend their projects um, if they wanted to. Um, but in terms of the language of the application, if there's um, confusion about the language of the application um, or the, the RFP, the call for proposals, um, then asking specific questions about where the confusion is would be um, helpful for clarifying that. Um, so all of that to say, um, if that doesn't answer your question now, um, you get a you get a second chance. There's a um, there'll be a second round when we get into subcommittee reports. Um, but I think, Keenan, is there anything that you would add in terms of if, if a member of the public is seeking direction on the application? Um, I would definitely read the RFP uh, clearly, uh, especially with all the um, supplemental questions. Um, more welcome to ask staff. Um, uh, if you want any clarifications on certain items, uh, we are more than welcome, ha happy to help out. Um, but yeah. Okay, great. And is there uh, any other um, public comment this evening? Uh, no, not at this time. Okay. Um, so for now, that will conclude uh, agenda item number three. Agenda item number four is announcements uh, from staff or committee members. Um, we can start with committee members. Are there any announcements from committee members? Not from me. All right. Um, Keenan, are there any announcements from staff? Uh, I can make my announcement during the subcommittee report. Okay, um, then it doesn't appear that there are any other announcements that will conclude agenda item number four. Um, agenda item number five is presentations. Do we have any presentations this evening? Uh, no presentations during this. Okay, so we move right on to agenda item number six. Uh, this is discussion of possible action on matters related to the following items. Um, tonight, it is just uh, subcommittee reports, um, if subcommittees are reporting. The first subcommittee report on the list is the Community Center Foyer Gallery Subcommittee. Um, 
which is uh, members uh, Samons Samonsky and Bowers. So, um, Member Bowers, do you have anything to report on that front? Yeah, the, um, we one of the other installations came down obviously earlier on, and so we're in the period now of getting prepared for for May as well, uh, and uh, a walkthrough of that. And so I'll be prepared uh, for the next committee meeting to get an update on the status of that. Okay. I could touch a little bit about that as well. Um, we do have a new uh, artist gallery uh, popping up this Saturday, or sorry, Sunday. Uh, the opening is going to be uh, March 20th from 3 till 5. Um, this is going to be uh, the artist um, Moonji uh, Pickering. Uh, it's going to be the Timeless Beauty uh, selection. So that one's going to be up from uh, March 19th through June 13th. Great, thank you, Kim. Um, the next uh, subcommittee report is um, the Poet Laureate Program um, subcommittee from members Bergman and Goodman. Uh, Member Bergman, do you have anything to report on that? Uh, you are muted. Um. No, and we I think we all got an email from uh, member Goodman and there hasn't haven't been any applications, I think was the was his his report. So that's um, let me see if I can find that. Um, yeah. Um, Oops. Says there's nothing, yeah, there's nothing to report, I'm afraid. Says as far as I know, there have been no submissions to the Poet Laureate post. And it's early, too early to do anything about fall into haiku. So um, that was his, his email. And I think it went, oh, it just went to me. Um, okay. Right. I can forward that. Um, well, um, and he, he also um, suggested that we um, go over, um, that we, let's see, um, yeah, how maybe um, work on how we could um, find or, or encourage some poets to apply i think That's... are we currently past the application like is there um did we reach a deadline and haven't received applications or are we still taking applications um well as far as i know we're still taking applications and i need to let me see if i have anything about um, i believe the, the deadline is uh march 31st at the end of the month oh then yeah, we need to um, either postpone the deadline for a month. I would say I need to talk to um, Peter Goodman about that, and um, or maybe we could um, should you know well we could perhaps we could discuss um, extending the deadline so that we have a little more time. Um, certainly, if we if we get to the deadline and we don't have um, a, a pool of applicants, then um, then we can extend the deadline again. But if the deadline is still um, out at this time, then um, oh, we don't it, need to extend it now. Right, right. I would let it. Um, I would let it go, and hopefully, we get applications in. Okay. Great. Um, Keenan, anything to add on either of those fronts? Yeah, so um, I, what I've seen um, with a lot of these as well, um, we do tend to get a lot of submissions uh, closer to the uh, deadline oh, date. Yeah. Uh, so we should be getting a few uh, at least uh, closer to the, the end of the submission time. As far as what I've seen in the past. Okay. 
Great. And just a, a point of order um, for clarification, Keenan, uh, since all of the subcommittee reports are listed as a single agenda item, I'm assuming that we're going to go through all of the subcommittee reports and then open it up for um, committee uh, questions, public comment, and then discussion. Is that correct? Mm -hmm. Correct. Okay. Um, the next item is um, within subcommittee reports is the Creative Justice Art Project Subcommittee, which is uh, myself and member Samonsky. Um, there are uh, a couple of updates. There have been additional listings on uh, a number of different uh, sites for art calls. Um, there's also been uh, a social media push to get it on several different um, Facebook groups that are focused on contemporary art calls and, um, and also uh, social justice and decolonial creative practices. So um, the call is getting out there and is circulating. Um, I know to date, uh, I don't think we have any additional applications. Um, however, I know that I have fielded um, some emails from people um, that have expressed interest in applying. Um, Keenan, have you additionally received any interest from people as well? I have, yes. Okay. So hopefully um, when we reach our next deadline for um, for this, we'll have a, a large enough uh, pool of applications that we'll be able to convene um, uh, a, a jury or a panel um, to look at those applications. In the meantime, um, kind of going off of um, Effie's comment earlier, um, uh, I do want to express that in the language for the Albany Creative Justice Art Project, um, there is a specific push to have a socially engaged or participatory project. Um, that the 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 gist of the project is that um, while it deals with issues of social justice, that these issues will not be um, simply passively represented. Uh, meaning that the, the project itself is actively engaging um, community members rather than um, merely um, graphically representing um, uh, an art artist's vision of what social justice might look like. So um, hopefully the applications that we're getting um, do adhere to some of the language that's in the, the RFPs. Um, and that's, I think that's, those are the only updates that I have from, uh, from the subcommittee. Um, the next subcommittee report is the Sculpture Loan Program Subcommittee. Uh, Member Bowers, um, anything to report there? Yeah, uh, the staff have issued uh, two artist agreements already uh, at the end of February. Uh, so both of those agreements are out to the artists right now for their signature and return. And once that is done, uh, we would move into the next process, obviously, of, of establishing the date of actual installation. As I understand from Keenan, um, it's a two-year loan. Uh, so right now, the effective date is May of this year through April of 2024. Um, and um, so we'll wait to see if we get the signatures back through the staff and then we can update this committee accordingly. Great, thank you, Michael. Um, uh, fall into Haiku subcommittee is next, and uh, Member Bergman, you mentioned that that's still too far out for an update to, is yes. that correct? Yes, correct. Okay. Um, and the Arts and Economic Development subcommittee is Member Goodman, who is not in attendance tonight. So, um, uh, Keenan, do you have any updates there at all? Uh, the update that I have is um, uh, Arts Committee, uh, a member Goodman has met with uh, Economic Development uh, Subcommittee members. Um, and um, I believe um, Goodman was going to be bringing something to uh, this meeting, but uh, it might have to be pushed to the next one. Okay. Um, thank you for that. So that concludes um, subcommittee reports. Um, so the next step here is to go to um, any questions from committee members on any of the 
material that was reported thus far. That looks like a no. No, no, um, yeah. <laughs> so, uh, so we will go to public comment. And this will be related to, um, again, any of the subcommittee reports. Keenan, do we have uh, any public comment here? And we do have, yes, we have one public comment. Go ahead. Hi again, it's, it's Effie. <laughs> um, thank you so much for for um, focusing a little bit uh, or helping me focus on what um, what y'all are looking for with the um, social the, um, the the justice proposal. Um, so just to clarify a little bit more, because our proposal, the proposal I was a part of. Um, is looking to bring folks together to create a vision and get input and there is an art an artist that would lead it um but there would be people that would you know the community would be involved in painting it and um in designing it and Sigora Te land trust uh the creative director would be one of the key folks that was leading that um, process of community engagement um, so in terms of a, of a mural project, it, I, I'm, it's hard for me to imagine what might be, um, how we might be able to add layers of social engagement since the design and the painting would be done by community folks. Um, so again, I'm, I'm, I'm curious, I don't want to take up too much time, but if there could be like some kind of follow-up, um, I wasn't sure if that was an invitation to follow up with the two committee members um, personally to maybe like have a call or something with, with me and the, the representative from Segorite, if that would be acceptable or any other guidance or thoughts. Thanks so much. And um, before, um, should I reply to that now, Keenan, or do we have other public comment? Oh, no, feel free. Um, so um, there's a there's a couple of things there with the the applications um, so far in terms of what we've seen. I have only um, very very um, briefly looked over those um, with Keenan. I have I I have not actually had a had time to to sort through um, the actual applications thus far in in, in detail. So I'm not entirely familiar um, with what's in your particular application, Effie. Um, in terms of um, engagement, I think one of the things that we're hoping for within the Creative Justice um, Arts Project is that um, there is a, um, a clearly defined process of engagement with Albany community members um, where that is, is um, provoking or engaging some discussion on issues of, of social justice. That certainly could be in the form of um, planning workshops, of town halls, of um, uh, other, other types of um, event-based uh, work that ultimately leads to um, the, the creation of the mural. I think one thing where, where maybe some of your confusion is coming into play here is that um, uh, this project is um, pretty specifically not a cure, uh, call for just a, a mural. Um, we have other opportunities within the city of Albany to fund murals, um, including, um, I think, a, a, a somewhat open proposal process um, for artists to submit um, projects that could be reviewed and matched up with um, sites that are identified in the in already in the uh, work plan um, for for mural works. So the the hope is that um, we're looking at projects that might be more process based or um, have a longer duration or have um, uh, some sort of uh, uh, social component, some sort of um, active component within that. Um, for that matter, in the case of uh, Segurite Land Trust, um, this could this project might 
look like um, uh, a land art work. There are a number of contemporary artworks that deal specifically um, in a variety of ways with um, with planting, with growing, with harvesting, um, with land use. Um, so I would absolutely encourage, um, if that's the, the collaborating body and that's a collaborating organization, um, to think about how um, creative land use um, could be tied in with issues of social justice um, and align with other contemporary art practices. Um, and I saw member Samonsky um, jumped in as well. Um, I know you kind of just caught the tail end of that, um, but I want to give you the opportunity if there's anything you want to add to the subcommittee report for the Creative Justice Project. Um, I'll just leave that, I'll leave that hanging out there for now. And then um, if you, um, if there's anything to report on that end, um, the floor is yours. And in the meantime, um, Keenan, do we have any other public comment? Uh, no other public comment at this time. Okay. Um, and then I, I will just add, um, um, that, um, I will, I don't know, in terms of looking over applications, I think we'll probably wait until, um, the deadline, but, um, uh, Effie, if you want to reach out to me, um, I can try and fill in any gaps there to the best of my ability. Um, and if there's no other public comment, um, then I think at this point that concludes uh, agenda item six already, um, which would ultimately lead us to agenda item seven, which is future agenda items. And do we have um, future agenda items from any committee members at this time? None from my side. Um, then I think we'll, we will proceed with um, the subcommittee reports um, as we've done in this one and for next meeting. And then uh, do you know offhand, Keenan, um, I think the deadline for the Albany Creative Justice Project will be April 14th. Um, do you know if that'll be before or after our next meeting off the top of your head? I believe the, the deadline is April 8th. So that's actually um, oh. a few days before our next meeting. Okay. Um, so uh, so we should have an update um, on the agenda and maybe in addition to the subcommittee reports because I think we'll need to, hopefully we'll need to get into the next phase of um, convening a, a, a panel of experts to review this. Um, any um other future agenda items just like to say that i apologize i i got the wrong time <laughs> and i'm an hour late but um i just want i know you already passed it but i just like to remind you that the foyer gallery is going through a transition right now uh we are mounting a new, I don't know if you know this, I haven't seen it, but we're mounting a new show uh, Friday and the opening is Sunday. So if all of you would like to come, that would be great. Uh, and then um, I'm only- what, what time is the opening? The It's three to five on Sunday. And uh, I've been trying to catch up on that process, which is a long one. And, Keenan told me, I think it was a week ago, that we have no um, applications at this point. Is that correct, Keenan? Uh, for the 2022 the year, I believe we have uh, one submission at this time. One submission, and we're supposed to be doing six. So I'd like input from all of you about exactly what we should do about that, because that's not going to work to have just one 
of when we were putting up six and we have to have a number to choose from. So that puts us in a very, um, I mean, we still have a couple of weeks, no, a week and a half, uh, but should we put forward uh, the uh, deadline or, you know, what's going to happen here when our, when our show is over, if we don't have other things to come up, are we going to have a gap or do we want to need to shorten the application? I don't exactly know because I'm so new to this. And so I welcome any input with that. I will certainly reach out to Cheryl and Peter who know a lot more about it. But um, we have to have more than one to go into a process of six shows for the next year. And this, the particular show we have now is on until June 13th. Uh, but we have to have a process before that for the next one to go in this summer. So I'm sorry that my report was late and it's all my fault, but I did want to get that in because the gallery is important and to leave it just open is not uh it's not the best thing <laughs> to do, and it, especially in this, this transition. So anything you can do with that, I would love to hear about. Um, we, we discussed earlier in relation to the Poet Laureate um, that we would probably let the expiration or that let the deadline um, date come because a lot of times applications come in um, in the last mm -hmm. you know, 24 to 48 hours before the, before the deadline. Um, and if it, um, if we do not see the applications, um, then extending, uh, the deadline, what's the, what's the current deadline date for yours? April 1st. Um, so, so we would know, so it would be where there would be a little bit of a two week gap before our next meeting, if we decided yes. to extend the, the deadline. Yes. Yes. But I would say we would have to have more than six obviously, um, to consider because we're considering six shows next year. So that's an issue. So yes, we can let it run till the deadline and see what happens. Is there a current, um, like outreach plan or PR plan to, um, to promote? Well, the it's been on the website and I know the e-news that comes out has a big one for social justice and one for the gallery. Mm -hmm. Um, and the one for the gallery is more new, you know. Obviously, the gallery is um, limited by the fact that we can have three-dimensional, we can have huge, you know, it's it's very limited. So there are only, so only certain kinds of artists that can apply now. And we're not, I don't think we're connected to, I'm still trying to, understand this, but I don't think we're connected to other venues that would put this opportunity out to a bigger audience. Mm -hmm. So we will see how that happens. I'm sorry that I don't know more, but I'm, I'm just kind of getting used to it. This, this uh, one that's going in will be till June. So we do have a little, uh, so, you know, a little time to think about it. But we do have to choose the artist before, you know, a certain amount of time to give them process. Is there a, um, um, Keenan, I know we're sort of backtracking now. Like, is it okay to, to kind of reopen the discussion on this? I'm sorry about that. Um, I actually were, um, uh, since we've moved past it, well, we're actually uh, really can't uh, go into too much more discussion about yes, it. Yes, I understand. Um, what, what I would say, um, just on the tail end is to, um, use the time between now and the, and the deadline to see if there's, um, a way to promote it on some other, um, art lists and on social media, and then, um, wait to see what happens with the, with the deadline and what submissions come in and then, um, moving forward, thinking through the next meeting, if you want to place it as a, as a future agenda item um, to talk about the FOIA, then we can um, get into also some, some um, promotion ideas and put it on as, as an agenda item. Um, 
my last thing is I just like to point out that member Bowers is not on the website, so maybe he could, his name could be added to the art committee. <laughs> Sounds good. Yeah, let's get you on there. <laughs> um, all right, any other uh, future agenda items or things that we want to discuss? Um, I have one more thing, and I know I'm butting in here at the end, but I would really still like to have a real definition of what public art qualifies in Albany. You know, I've looked at a whole bunch of cities and whole around here, Oakland, San Francisco, Berkeley, El Cerrito, and it varies. And even in our town, it's listed as landscape architecture, even manhole covers. I, I'm not really sure what we're looking at, and I would like to discuss what we think art is and how it qualifies for what yeah. we're doing. This is actually, uh, I believe, a work plan item to, to, okay. to discuss the ordinance. Um, and I don't remember the exact wording on the work plan, but um, we could certainly have an uh, agenda item. I think the first step um, in terms of looking at those definitions is to really look at the language of the ordinance mm -hmm. um, because it is that that is where it's defined and that is how um, how the city and and maybe more importantly the city attorney um, uh, that's that's sort of what how it's interpreted through that that language because that's the ordinance so that is what um, what gives allowances and in that in that language um, actually decorative and architectural elements um, are not defined um, as art. In fact, they're um, specifically excluded from that interpretation. So um, I get that, except when you go on on our website, it says something different. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Well, um, I, I think I think it warrants a, a conversation and looking closer at it for sure. Yeah, I really do. Um, so, uh, Keenan. Um, if I can ask to um, list that as a, as a future agenda item, um, maybe according to the language that's structured in the work plan around that item. Sure. Thank you. And um, any other future agenda item requests? Okay, um, if there's no other future agenda items, um, then that concludes our meeting for tonight. Our next meeting will be uh, on the agenda. We have uh, April 11th, does that sound right? Um, it looks like our next meeting is April 11th and um, that adjourns our meeting for this evening. Thank you everyone. <laughs>